Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jishiro. I am playing Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode we made our way over to Ors, uh, Ors Rush. And we started, like we explored the town and then started the Partizio story. And it would seem that we are going into a dungeon too. I do like this game's music style though. There's a lot of this. There's a lot of singing. Like a lot more vocals than uh, the original game did. A customer! Here it goes! Let's see, Arrow Fortune. It's a powerful bow attack on a single phone and receive JP. The more damage you deal, the more JP you receive. <laughs> and rest. Of course he has rest. Yeah, makes sense. It's three GP, JP. <laughs> and I like this dude already. This dude has a vibe, as they say. Seems like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as raring as any of us, boss. You bet I am. Lousy gang's really got my hackles up. The more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin, if nothing else. They're here to take what we worked hard to make, so no holding back. Yeah, they're good for nothing thieves. Let's get them good, boss. Face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think of it as a down payment. Ooh, the boss is doling it out again. You'd really give coin to a stranger you just met, Particio? Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. <laughs> Strange to think the wild stallion's got a soft side. Harder in her bruising, no one can beat Particio the Wild Stout. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. I knew you'd show up, Gif. <laughs> kind of you to worry about my posse. Hand over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we get honest pay for it. That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! Laborers, all the same. Go on, boys, take them down. This world's about taking, and we're going to be the takers. Yeah! That rat. He needs someone to cool him down. Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let's get to work! That's our boss. Generous as always. Come on! Let's get him! Let's have ourselves a showdown. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! Characters who have recruited ta uh, townspeople can summon them into battle. Or into battle. Summon townspeople will retire from battle after a certain number of turns has passed. If they uh, still have turns remaining, when the battle ends, they can be summoned again. Oh. It's your ship now, friend. That's intriguing. Wow, wrecked. They also take hit for you sometimes. Here goes. Stark one. All in a day's work. Rum -ba -ba -dum. Huh. 
Not so tough after all, huh? Damn. Don't think you'll get away with this. <laughs> right, right. None of that cliche hogwash now. Retreat! We're getting out of here! <laughs> and stay gone, you lily-livered lowlives! We did it, boss! Yeah! What a victory! Y'all did good, fellas! So what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? I say, let's make it a big one! You hear that, everyone? Food and drinks on Particio! Woo! That's our boss! Generous as always! Uh, hold your horses! I didn't say nothing about buying anyone! Boss, hurry it up! Hey, hey, I said it! Meanwhile, Pap and Book. I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. <sighs> I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. However, the tides are always changing, Pap. What about our people? The ones who followed us here. I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey! Partner, wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. Whew. I think I ate more than I could stomach. Huh. This town's gonna get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Oh, uh, Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? <sighs> Particio, may I have a word with you? Particio. I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. Silver is being mined worldwide now, and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade and traveling to the eastern continent. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The East is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide 
unprecedented power. We are entering the age of steam, Matushio. I'm certain of it. Oh. <laughs> Look at yourself, Yomura. You'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Patricio, I want you to come with me. I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. And what do you say? Will you leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture? Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy of the world. <laughs> wow, Mr. Rock. You're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Tishio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. See, your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Patricio. Mr. Rock. Present day. <coughs> Here you go, Pops. My special beef and veggie stir fry surprise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Smells delicious. Hang on, Articio. There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir fry surprise, now would you? The surprise is there is no beef. I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. So fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? <sighs> Times are tough, huh? We dig and dig. Pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. That contract I signed. Biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. I can't believe I didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner. Let us do all the hard work building this place up. And then snatch the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. Since then, 
All the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. Eat my share, Pops. Merchant's health is the seed capital. You need all you can get. Fine words. When did you get so eloquent, Chickadee? <coughs> Darn it, we're out of medicine, too. Uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. Um. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, is this grape gonna work? Hello? Oh, see, how's your father doing? I know this person. My advice to me, you have yourself a deal. Thank you kindly. That's interesting. Wait. Yeah, that makes sense. That she's a blue... blue robed uh, apothecary. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. Gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, uh, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowners' laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Harry, that's my crust. Give it back. Shut up. I'm taking it. I've got mouths to feed, too. That's enough. Here, I'll split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I... <sighs> Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault for something. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. Never imagined you'd end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was or how much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out something to do for work. Boss, it's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Giff, as if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Or prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. 
But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemonade. You, you. Though uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Boss. Damn it! Gotta go upstairs. Yeah. Hey, Pops. Uh, I'm back. <coughs> Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Nothing. Nothing at all. Particio, I won't pretend to know what's got you down, but here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. <sighs> you'll never lose if you never try, son. But you'll never win either. Huh. Yeah, that settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a cates, Whisker Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. It's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. Fellas, listen up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. That's why we gotta take it back. And our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that snake gifts place. Yeah! yeah! All right. Oh, I can take the the boys with me, but I think I actually no, I don't have them anymore. It's been years. It's been literal years. Let's see. Charming smile, uh, defiant stance. Let's go for this guy. Let's work up a nice sweat. Right. Now before we do this, pause. Um, I'll be right back. 
All right. Now we're the same place, but then it's going to be expanded, I guess. Or definitely changed. Out of there, friend. Bring it on. Take I love. I really like the fact that there's a character like Perticia. Dang it. Bring it on. Bring it on. Take this. Maybe next time. Ram bada badam. Let's. I was thinking about it, I could have probably gotten like a more strong person in town. But oh well. Yeehaw! I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Got three JP. A grand total of three Japanese points. That was maybe not the best move. Oh. All in a day's work. Inspiring plum. Let's have ourselves a show now. <laughs> of course not enough. Time to divvy up the earnings. How much is it again to learn skills? Uh thirty. Okay. What do you even have? <gasps> Collect, collect money, um, deal fire base damage, donate BP, sidestep, and hired help. Yep, that's all the same, or almost all. Ember is different, and arrow fortune too. Let's see, receive additional money after battle, grants equipping character one more BP at the start of battle, when the equipping character is not near death, otherwise the lethal attack will uh, instead leave them with one HP, I remember that one too. Completely fills the equipping character's latent power gauge at the start of battle, that's... That's really powerful. Give. I feel like this is probably the way forward then. So let's go the optional pathway. Hey, customer. customer. I'm just getting warmed up. Take this. Suck too. The sucketing. Yeehaw! Bring it on. Take this. There we go. I got myself the ability to learn something. Um. Hmm. I think hired help is is definitely one of the better ones for me to get. I think maybe the fire thing could have been good too, but. Right. 
There's a big old chest over there. Oh. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a show now. Bring it on. That's a nice sentinel. <laughs> Uh, let's just go and attack normally, get hit once, and then break him again. <laughs> and then go for full BP. Uh, like full, full boosted attack. Which may not even be necessary. Yeehaw! Maybe next time. I also keep forgetting that I don't lose them if I summon them in battle. And like, I finish the battle before they're gone, so I should summon this dude and keep him in battle. Howdy there, friend! <laughs> Howdy there, friend. <laughs> Here goes. It's Here's Johnny! Now, friend. Well, Joe, but whatever. Let's do it. I'm just getting warmed up. Take this! Why did I do that again? Oh well. Whoa, I'm out. Bum, bum, bum. All in a day's work. Light coin patch. What's just in here? Uh no. A leather helm. A tougher waistcoat. Nice. Let's to show now. Bring it on. Wait, and now he's gone. All oh, right, of course, because man, I'm stupid. I'm just getting warmed up. It's your ship now, friend. Go down. I'm gonna have to summon him every single time in battle. So I'm gonna have to spend a turn summoning whichever character I want to summon, but they. Like, I won't use up one of their summon usages. That's how it works. There we go. We've reached the end. Do you sell anything that I could possibly be interested in? Oh, yeah, right. They do have like a little bonuses too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the thumbs up. Uh, I can sell some stuff there. Um, I could increase my damage or I could increase my defense and evasion by a lot. But that would also use up a lot of money. I think I'll go and try this if I somehow die, which, you know, there is definitely a chance of that happening, then I will just buy the first plate. Did you see the tears on that fool's face earlier? <laughs> you said it, Giff. Excuse me, Giff. Huh? Look who it is. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. Something like that. Here. A coin made from our silver. One measly leap? You trying to insult me? You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guys. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money and for people. <laughs> what a joke. We've made up our minds, Giff. We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? Ha! 
<laughs> You're just as stupid as your father. What did you say? The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. That bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. The landowner slipped it in at a later date, all quiet like. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> you're, you're dirty through and through. You tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world's sick. It's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. <laughs> You've done it. You really, really got my coat. Get ready, kid. Because we're taking our town back from your dirty mitts. Let's tussle, Giff. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. It's your ship now, friend. Go down. A roars with laughter. I'm just getting warmed up. Let's see, because I do have hired help. Veteran soldier, mercenary, ruffian, thespian. Guard and Beastling. Intriguing. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Makes a sword attack on all foes and raises physical defense of all allies. Um, reduces the physical attack and the f and physical defense of all foes. I'm gonna do this. Let's get to work. Oh, that's some great A gourmet shit right there. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh, I hate myself. <laughs> um, let's go and get Joe back in here. So we can maybe block like one of the attacks. There you go. Wow. Come on, that all you got? Can't trash like you was giving me trouble. Hey morons, stop slacking off. Get over here and finish this fool. <laughs> now you call for help? Fine by me. I'll take you all on. Bring it on. Right. Uh. Oh, I just noticed that a certain thing has appeared. Here goes. Let's go and. Okay, of course that doesn't do it, but this does. <laughs> <I'm just getting> <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of that. Uh, um, yeah, I don't have my ability yet, so. Let's just go ahead and hit him with the mercenary. Go get him, boys. I didn't even need to use my ability. I don't know what it does. <laughs> oh, well. Ye all tactic of calling the boys in uh, is still really good, and it's even better, actually. Well now, major peace. Oh wait, spare my life. If a 
much money you want, I got it. Loads of it. See? Whoa there. Silver. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. Huh. Come to think of it, Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Neither me nor Pop's ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. <laughs> Rock brilliant. Tycoon mm. himself. What? Uh, Mr. Rock. But, but why? The man's got a ruthless mind for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. When was the last time the store shelves were so well stocked? Life's returning to our little town. Hey, Greenhorn. Hurry up and move this material. Yes, sir! <laughs> We're gonna work you hard until you pay off your debt, you hear? Excuse me, Mr. Particio, sir. Hey, Pops, you fine to be walking around? Yeah, thanks to you. I'm too busy to be dead. <laughs> I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the times, folk. And life's starting to come back to us. Sure is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I made arrangements to get the materials you want. Woo! You're a lifesaver. Hey, Particio. Can we have a talk? Uh -huh. We're talking now, ain't we? Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops, Mr. Rock, he... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. Listen. I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're gonna be something if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain even if it wanted to. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine without you. Boss! You 
got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. That's why I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. Uh, this town's my home. I grew up here. But to be honest, as the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. Ever since Mr. Rock took off and left us. I don't regret staying here, not for an instant. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. We managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But somewhere out there, I know there's folks suffering just as much as we did, or worse. I want to do what I can for them. Use my talents to make the world a better place. Hmm. Being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves. It's the reason why that matters. I'm proud of you, son. Pops. You're no chickadee any longer. You're a full-fledged, bona fide merchant. Go on. Help others like you helped us. Bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. <laughs> and show up that rock feller while you're at it. I I Get love his music. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah, we'll keep it safe and sound. Don't worry about us, boss. Boss, take care out there. Fellas. If you all say so, I got no choice now, do I? I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. And so with lofty ambition stirring deep within his breast, Porticio leaves his hometown behind. Untold thousands, uh, thousands across the world suffer under the yoke of poverty, and he has vowed for to friends and family to help them all. Onwards, this young merchant strides with eager step, excited by the prospect of discovering what's over that distant horizon. British the Merchant, Chapter 1, N. I'm looking forward to sharing a campfire with you. <laughs> it's wild to me that you can actually, like, Decide to just straight up skip Like the beginning parts of these stories you'd be losing out on so much story if you did that also, what is his ability now? <laughs> or does not show it over here Okay, no this it doesn't show over here wait, um, that should be in status then um, Talent leverage the talents of your hired Help her to enjoy various benefits when shopping and more. Latent power. Receive max BP. Hoot and holler. I'm sorry. Look at that thing. Look at that picture on the right. And tell me that this dude isn't amazing. Oh. I love the art style of this of these games. They're so good. Right, let's go rest up. So my friends, so that however is going to conclude this episode of just how I was playing Octopath Traveler 2. And next episode, we are going to go and check out the towns again. That'll have a new person to check different things out. And then we are going to go and... Uh, let me check. There's a story starring Particio, who has caught the scent of commerce. There's no need to travel every path before him. But doing so may aid you in your travels. What? The scent of commerce. 
Okay, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, the next thing that we're going to do is go north uh, and go and deal with Agnes. Uh, quest. And then because that's what I'm thinking. Then we have, you know, full party of four people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye.